Hello, my name is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how actually uh, you can hide this create site in the SharePoint page. So actually, um, if we're on the office.com uh, and we go to the nine dots and we go to SharePoint, we'll see here two buttons, create site and create new post, news post. Um, some organizations actually um, don't want to let the, the user create by himself and they want to control it in a different way. So there's a way in the admin center of SharePoint to hide that. So currently I'm with a user that's called, that's named Ligu and I will switch to a user that actually is called uh, as administrator and it's Ami Diamond. So I'll click on the nine dots, go to the admin center and choose SharePoint. Admin center, show all. I'll choose SharePoint. <clears throat> and now under settings, I'll have all of the settings of SharePoint and OneDrive and I will go to site creation. There's a checkbox here, uh, let users create sites from a SharePoint start page in OneDrive. If I uncheck that and press save, after a couple of minutes, um, anyone that is not admin will not be able to create it. So let's try now to go back to the other user before he had the create site. Let's refresh. It might take a couple of seconds. What I'll do is I'll just log in again and uh, and this user actually no longer uh, will see it. Here we go. Password. Let's save it. And now we will go to the nine dots and go to SharePoint. And at this point, she still sees it. So it might take a couple of uh, seconds. Um, I'll stop the recording and show you how it is. Let's uh, pause it. Okay, I'm back. So uh, currently after a minute or two, you see uh, the create site is no longer here. Only the create a new post. And uh, if I switch to the administrator, uh, if he tries to create it to go to the SharePoint site, he still sees it because he's the administrator. He's the king. Okay, so actually the admin center setting is the one that provides to hide it. It doesn't mean that the users uh, cannot uh, create the group. It just says this link is not uh, possible. So if if we just test that, so if I go for instance and create through planner, let's go to planner. This user doesn't see the link, but if they try to create a new planner, since uh, we didn't disable it on the ten te tenant level, then they just don't see it. But doesn't mean that if let's try now the user can create a planner so from the SharePoint page the home page they can't do it but from planner they can and they can also do it from teams so uh, there's an ar article actually that uh, I posted on LinkedIn that uh, actually shows how to do it in a in a proper way, meaning you create a, a specific group for those that do have permission. Then you run a, a PowerShell script, and then you test that it works. I'll, I'll post uh, the link uh, below. Hope uh, this uh, video um, gave you some benefit, uh, and see you next time and subscribe to my channel. See you, goodbye.